Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before we start today's video, let me show you my new intro. Let me know what you think about it. Hi guys, today I'm going to explain the future diary ending. Before I start, I want to quickly warn everyone who didn't watch the anime or read the manga, there will be huge spoilers ahead, so please be cautious. First, a quick story review just in short. The future diary is about the death game. There are 12 people participating in the game, and the winner can become the new Deus Ex Machina, the god of time and space. In the last episodes, we find out the whole story was in an alternative timeline called the Second World. So what happened in the First World? In the First World, everything happened pretty similarly to the Second One, except Yuki and Yuno agreed to swallow poison. But Yuno didn't swallow it, and as a result, she became the god and resurrected Yuki. Only to find out, she can't resurrect Yuki, and the only way to meet Yuki again is if she goes back in time. And so, makes another world named the Second World. First, Yuno kills her Second World self so she can replace her, while her companion, Muru Muru the First, we'll call her that because she came from the First World, seals Muru Muru the Second so only one Muru Muru moves freely in that world. Side note, Muru Muru is the most confusing. Pretty much, this happened before the first episode. Now fast forward to the 24th episode. Yuki finds out the truth about this world in Yuno. Because of that, Yuno tries to kill him so she can become a god again and do everything again just to spend more time with Yuki. Yuno in the end can't finish Yuki, so Muru Muru the first gives her the power of god so she can go to the third world to kill her third world self and replace her. Fortunately for Yuki, Minane came back to life because the god didn't let her die and even gave her some of his power to fight against Muro Muro because he always knows that something is not right about Muro Muro. Basically, Minane and Yuki come back in time before Yuno, so they have time to find Yuno from this world and protect her. And now comes the really confusing Muro Muro part. Now, a really epic fight happens between the Yuno team and the Yuki team. But finally, eventually, the battle was won by the Yuno team, and Yuki got sealed in his perfect dreamland. From this seal, Yuki broke out because Muru Muru from the second world, remember the one that Muru Muru from the first world sealed, helped him. So now Yuki can face Yuno again. At that moment, Yuno finally realizes what she is trying to do the whole time, so she commits suicide in the end so Yuki can become god and save the second world. So Yuki and Muru Muru the second leave the third world and move to the second world. Meanwhile, Muru Muru the third comes and seals Muru Muru the first. Okay, now a little break. So Muru Muru the first is in the third world seal. Muru Muru the second is in the second world with Yuki. And Muru Muru the third is in the third world. We're through the hard part, so stay with me a little bit more. Muru Muru the first made a little keychain from herself and gave it to Yuno from the third world, which gives her some memories from Yuno from the first world. This Yuno fights her way to Muru Muru the first to get her answers for these memories. When she finally found Muro Muro the first, she helps her get all the memories of the previous Yuno and get her way to the second world to finally meet with Yuki. So in short, in the first world, Yuno won the death game and became god. Then she and Muro Muro went back in time, making the second world. In the second world, Yuno kills her other self and Muro Muro sealed her other self. Okay, now 24 episodes have happened. When Yuki found out about this time-traveling thing, Yuno wanted to kill him and do the whole process again. So Yuno and Muro Muro went back in time, making the third world. In the meantime, Minane came back to life with some god's power to help Yuki out, so they also went back in time. And now started the final battle, because Yuki wants to protect Yuno from the third world, but Yuno from the first world wants to kill her and also Yuki. In the battle, Team Yuki lost. Yuki was sealed and Minane was beaten, but then Muro Muro from the second world came back who was sealed by Muro Muro from the first world. Muro Muro from the second world helped Yuki out so Yuki can stand against Yuno again. In the final moment, Yuno, instead of killing Yuki, kills herself, making Yuki win the death game of the second world 
So he and Murumuru from the second world left the third world and came back to their original world. Now, Murumuru from the first world is still alive and she imported some memories from Yuno into the first world to help Yuno from the third world. So Yuno came to Murumuru from the first world to help her meet Yuki from the second world, who was just sitting in nothing because he lost her Yuno. Confusing? Yes. But I hope everyone who is confused about the future diary ending can now sleep in peace after this video. Hey guys, before you leave, please consider giving us a thumbs up and a comment on our video. It really does help us a lot. Also, if you haven't subbed today, feel free to do so. Until next time, take care guys. Bye bye.